my god. This is so cute. My dinosaur is taking a break in the hot tub. Oh, I love this game. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Panda, a comfy and variety game streamer, and today we are obviously checking out Pal World, the game that has swept the gaming industry off its feet. I have been playing for three days now. I'm on my third playthrough. I got it on PC Game Pass uh, so that I could check it out as I uh, it would technically be free. And then I um, loved it so much I bought it on Steam. And then I loved it so much that I got a server through G Portal. Thank you so much G Portal for sponsoring the stream. And so I've technically played three different playthroughs and I've gotten pretty far on each one before I move to the next. So I do have a lot of information about the game. Uh, as you can see, this playthrough, I've gotten pretty far. I've got 10 base pals. Um, I will show you how many pals I have. I have all the ones in my party, one, two, three, four, five. I've got some pretty um, rare ones. I've got Floppy. I've got a Dinosaur, as you saw him relaxing in the hot tub. I've got a Celery. Um, I've got a Melpaca, which was actually really hard to get. A Tombat, an Ecthyridir. If you don't know what these are, I guess I'm kind of telling you these things like you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring my Chillette back out. He was a boss and you, uh, when you beat him, you get to keep him. I've got a Nightwing who I'm not going to use. A Serpent, but he's level one. Anyway, um, I've completed a couple of dungeons. I've been exploring through a lot of the map. I will show you. Um, I just go on like little walks and I end up like out in the middle of nowhere. And sometimes, um, for example, I went walking yesterday. I went from Fort Ruins down to the small settlement and somehow made a gigantic circle and ended up right back at the Rain Syndicate Tower. Um, that is my mission for today, to beat my very first tower. Um, I believe it's a level 17 or 18, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a 23. I'm only a level 15, um, but I've been able to beat some pretty big bosses um, and dungeons being lower level than the enemy, um, mainly because I have a party of five unrelated to the show. I really need like a picker upper pal. Some of these guys, like they don't do, <laughs> look at them, look at them, look at them. They don't do what they're supposed to do. They like, they go pick it up and then they, they drop it and they pick it up and drop it, pick it up and drop it, pick it up and drop it, and then drop it and leave it. I don't, <laughs> there's like no way to really control them. Like, look, he's got wood, he drops it and runs away. Like, well, Flack, what are you doing? What what are you doing? <laughs> um, my The ones that plant actually do a fantastic job. I have such a huge surplus of food because of them. Let's check it out. Yeah, I have 1,470 berries, like so many berries. Um, but yeah. This is, uh, this game is honestly incredible. I wasn't sure that I wanted to play it, which is why I tested it on PC Game Pass first. Um, but I'm so glad I did. I, I love this game. Ooh. Ooh, wait, I have Ancient Civilization parts? When did I get that? Hold on. Um, what is it, buddy? I don't have any money right now, sweetheart. Could I use my mind? You haven't, you only have 80. You need 310. Okay, so with the ancient civilization scrolls, I should be able to, um, oh, I need ancient technology points. Okay, no, so I can't, um, what I will do is definitely make myself some better armor. And I guess I'll save the other um, scroll. I think I'm gonna make myself some more arrows. Yep, have somebody work on that. 
and maybe some spheres so that I can catch high level things. And normally I just put it to build and walk away because my lovely little um, companion pals here, they will come and finish it for me, which I love. See, she's working on that. Oh, I'm sorry, he, that's a, that's a boy floppy. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me go empty my inventory. Um, so yeah, I would love for you to come on a journey with me to explore. And we are gonna work on beating the first syndicate tower. I will be playing this on stream as well because I am hyper fixated. This game is, I'm telling you, I played it for maybe seven hours on Friday when I played, good job, when I played it on, on PC Game Pass. And then Saturday, I probably spent like eight hours playing it on Steam and then another couple of hours playing it on my server on Steam. And then finally, today, I woke up, I uh, did some stuff, and I'm right back on the game. So, uh, it is it is a hyper fixation of mine. It is what it is. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I want to drop this. Drop it so that somebody can come pick it up. And same with you. Oh. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to pick that up. Um... We're gonna have to split this a few times. Up. Anyway, this server is a 10 slotted server provided to me by um, G Portal so that I can play this game with my community. So far, three of the 10 slots are taken by myself and my friend Riker and my best friend OG Medusa. Um, we, uh, she is also a G portal partner, but she's sharing this server with me and with her community. So those spots should fill up pretty fast. Um, once people start getting power world. So I'm really, really excited to play, um, with my community. Oh, that's still too heavy. Crud. Okay. Uh, Jolt hog is so stinking cute. Oh, I remember now what I wanted to do. I wanted to make more accessories for my pals. Um, accessories is probably my favorite thing about this game. Um, for example, which one do I want to do? When you add accessories to them, throw electric grenades. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I guess I could make one for the dark howl. You know what I'm thinking of doing? Taking two daydreams with me into battle. So I'm gonna make another daydream necklace. And um, yeah, and let it come into battle with me. I think I need more of these. Oh, my spheres are ready and my arrows are ready. Um. Somebody make those cloths, please. Let's go ahead and put our better armor on. That's very necessary. I don't, I'm not gonna keep this. I'm just gonna discard it. Um, I need a better bow, or at least repair the bow that I have right now. Yeah. Um, so some of you might be thinking, what is the object of this game? If you've ever played Zelda, Pokemon, Minecraft, the object of the game is to clear the world of baddies. In this world, the baddies are called the Syndicate, um, at least in the first area. There are also bigger enemies, like um, if you go into the upper, the higher level areas, there are these like religious um, baddies. They're like in monk clothing and things like that. And they're pretty hard to beat. Um, I defeated two of them, but they nearly killed me and they, um, knocked out two uh no four of my five uh party pals and um yeah i assume as you go further there will be even more higher level monsters human npcs um and enemies and as you go through there are towers um that you can defeat and um you collect pals 
you create a base, you level up your base, you level up your pals, um, you increase their comfort so they work better, you give them better homes. There's a lot of crafting. Oh my god, my stomach growled. I love that aspect of this game, really. It's just so cute. Um, you can have that. I need to get some berries on me. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so very... Uh, it's very similar to Zelda in some ways. It's very similar to Minecraft with the crafting aspect of it. And it's very, very similar to Pokemon with the cow the creature um, collection and leveling up. I think I'm going to leave Fox Sparks at home. And yes, I think this Daydream has another necklace. Because I just saw it spawn next to me. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I guess I can only have one daydream out at a time. That's sad. I thought I could have as many as I wanted. I was going to do like a whole team of daydreams at one point. <laughs> uh, 11.95. Okay, I think I've got a pretty strong team with me. I'm gonna go ahead and go fight the syndicate. So we are gonna fast travel there because I've unlocked the fast travel point and we're gonna do a boss battle. Wish me luck. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm nervous. There's also a dungeon right here that I can do afterwards. Oh, my stomach growled. I am hungry. Let's eat some food. I brought cooked berries. Let me feed everybody so they're nice and full, super healthy. Um, yeah, see, this is the dungeon, and this one is level what? Level 13! I could totally do that. We'll do it after this syndicate. Whew, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna bring out... Chillette first, and I've got my daydream, don't I? Where's my daydream? Uh, excuse me? Daydream? Why are you finding fighting that pangolet? My daydream isn't with me, y'all. I might need to go back home. I have no idea why that happened, but I'll take it, I guess. Um, usually when you find syndicate places like this, there will be... Oh, uh, wrong one. There will be a... Oh, wait! There's my daydream! I don't have to go back! Yay! Holy moly! <laughs> wait, who's shooting? From where? Oh, you're dead, dude. Oh, he's finding a crevice. Oh, look! There's, there's, um, a... What are you? He looks so sad and cute! He's a Nox. If you find Nox hair in your bedding, you should leave it where it lays and leave immediately? Picking it up is a one-way ticket to our never-ending night? What are you? Um, let's go here. Where are you, Nox? Nox, Nox, Nox. <gasps> Ooh, he's a dark one. He's a gatherer. When fighting together, applies dark damage to players' attacks. Partner skill, Kudir. Okay. I got me a cool little new pal. I don't think there's any chests or anything in here. Just gonna pick up this stuff and go straight into... Oh! Well, I wasn't gonna kill that Kremis, but... Gillette had other ideas. Oh. Well, goodbye, Kremis. Thanks for your wool. Come on, Gillette, get out of the fire before you turn your li you, you light your tail on fire. Yeah, we got some stuff. I got a new pal. Time to go into our first syndicate tower. Oh, I got some gold too. 147. 
Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Oh look, I unlocked my Chalette's ride. Um, I, I got him a saddle. I thought for some reason that I would be more up on the neck, but I'm cool with being on the back even though I can't see in front of me. <laughs> um, also, you can shoot ice missiles with him. Kaboom! And you can also fire a, a dragon missile, which is really, really cool when you're walking around. And while you're mounted, you can still pick stuff up. Oh gosh, okay, I have a 10 minute time limit. Wish me luck. Here we go. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. The last time I went in here, I got my butt kicked hard. I can't even remember which boss I was fighting in here though. It was a, well, obviously it's a big dude. All the bosses are huge. Oh, this cute girl, I forgot. Oh, that's what it is, that electric one. I just realized the game is kind of quiet. Sorry about that, y'all. Hey! Zoe and Grizzbolt. I like that they have Z's in their names. Run! Oh, gosh. I'm shooting where he- Oh, no! He's already destroyed my Chillette! Chillette, run! Chillette is out. Come on, little dude. Do your cheery fire missile! There you go. Oh my god, we're doing nothing to him. He has 30,000 health. Don't attack my baby! No, Tansy! Oh god. Ah! Did I tell you I'm bad at video games? Because I'm bad at video games. Oh shit. Where is he? He's chasing me. Well. Shoot him in the head. Can I shoot her? Tansy is holding their own, okay? I don't want to hear it. Tansy is being a badass. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I need to heal. Um... Heal, heal, y'all, heal. Ah, he's here! I'm taking too long. My weapon is damaged? Oh god, Tansy's out. No! Ah! Melpanka! I don't think I'm strong enough to defeat my first tower yet. I got my butt handed to me, dude. We'll just do a dungeon instead. Level 13 dungeon, no problem. Oh, I forgot all my stuff is gone. <laughs> Let's go back. Um, it'll all be outside of the tower, so don't worry. Just pick up my stuff and run back home with my tail between my legs. <laughs> that was rough. Okay, so I've done other dungeons and bosses where they had like 3,000 or 5,000 or even maybe close to 10,000 health. Not no friggin' 30,550. That was wild. But at least I got a new um, pal out of it, Nox. And I can go back home. I'm gonna leave those in there and we're gonna go do a dungeon. I have 88 Pal Spheres, uh, 14 Mega Spheres, 114 Arrows. I think that's enough for this dungeon, so we're just gonna go. I hope this goes way better <laughs> than uh, my Syndicate Tower um, attempt. I have finished one other dungeon, which is all the way in the beginning behind the castle at the beach. Um, and that was fun, and I caught a couple of interesting, uh, pals in there. And I was not nearly as prepared for that one as I am for this one. <clears throat> I didn't take enough arrows with me, <clears throat> or enough pal spheres. Pardon me, my, my throat is dry and scratchy. Um, I hope I'm not getting sick. Dang allergies. What is that thing? Oh, it's a Mao. I already have a Mao. 
I mean, I guess I could use another mount, right? Mm -hmm. They gather, um, oh, I don't have one of these. Kill Amari. Oh, gosh. Hit it one more time. Ow, don't hit me. Okay, now, no! Don't hit it again. I have to be careful because Daydream will come in and destroy things. No! <laughs> Just like that! Daydream! You absolute beast, you. <sighs> okay, so, um, Daydream. <laughs> daydream, Daydream, Daydream. They do this to me all the time where they destroy things before I have a chance to collect it. I have one of these. Um, I don't really want a level 6 Fuddler. I don't really do much. They're cute, though. Oh, I don't have Life Monk out. Come on, Life Monk. Destroy them! There you go. Good job. Level up Life Monk. Life Monk has a really cool recoil. It's called the Life Monk recoil. And you can- Ooh, okay, I want you. Let me summon you back. It might pop out. I might be able to keep it. Yeah, it popped out. I should be- No! Get back in my ball, you little butt! Oh my god. Come on! Yay! I got it. I'm gonna put that one in my, uh, in my home. At my base. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I have to be fast, because Daydream will straight up just murder everything. Um, and Life Monk has Life Monk Recoil, which I'm gonna show you what it does right now. <laughs> he jumps on my head, and then I can use his machine gun, which is really useful. Hello? Any more enemies in here? Don't look like it. I think the dungeons are the only place where you can get sulfur. Can I climb with you on my back? I can. Well, he's not on my back. He's on my head. Alright, there's nothing else in here. Let's go find more syndicates to destroy, because... My pals are OP right now, which is awesome. This feels a lot better than being in the uh, Syndicate Tower and getting my butt handed to me. That was wild. I'm not very good at video games to begin with. And battles freak me out. I get, like, anxious. So, oh, he jumps off after a certain point. And now he has to... The... The... Oh, gosh, what's that called? The cooldown. The cooldown on their abilities is actually like a long cooldown. Oh, he's like resting and I'm hungry. Let's eat. And I'm going to feed him one of those. And then I'm going to switch to... Yeah, come on, Pangolet. Why can't I... Hold on. I can't, like, switch to... Oh, there's Life Monk. Wait, where's Life Monk? Is he fighting? Oh, no, is he glitched? What happened to my Life Monk? It's, like, locked. And I, I don't know where he is. Or she. I actually don't know what their identity is. Um... I, I'm just gonna keep going because sometimes when you move, they will teleport to you. And maybe if I start fighting, it'll summon it. So, I I don't know what happened. Maybe it's a glitch that will happen in this game quite a bit. As I mentioned, it is an early access, so that happens sometimes. Um, some of these thugs and syn syndicate thugs and enemies, um, will have guns. Um, my first playthrough, I thought that, um, one of the, one of the NPCs by the, uh, second teleportation spot, I thought that was who you had to fight for the tower syndicate because it said syndicate 
ruins or something like that. And so I challenged them and I killed them. And oh, see, there's Life Monk. He's back. Um, and that was a big no-no. <laughs> the um, can you hit this? Oh, you can. What is it? Oh, wow. It's a huge pallium fragment thing. Anyway, I killed a human NPC who was not an enemy. And cops showed up with assault rifles and d -d 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 destroyed me. Uh, so don't do that. <laughs> what else have I done that was like a huge mistake? So many things. So many things. Uh, gone on 30 minute tangents around the world and ended up in the exact same place I started. Um, jumped off of towers and ended up in water and ran out of stamina and died. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. Um, accidentally, do you know how many, oh, there's more guys here. Um, <laughs> there's been more than a few times that I have, um, died and then post-mortem collected pals oops that's been really interesting because if you throw your your spear before you die sometimes you'll catch your pal post-mortem so during the respawn four second wait screen i'll just see the spear close i'm like oh i caught it you know pretty cool I am stocking up on Paldium. 58, not bad. Um, most things take anywhere between 10 to 30 Paldium to create. At least within the first 10 levels, um, 10 to 20 levels, you do need quite a lot of Paldium in the future for uh, Pal accessories and for creating spears. So, Paldium is in high demand. Paldium, wood, and stone. You can never have too much wood, stone, or Paldium. Just letting you know right now. Stock up on those. I think that's the end of this side. Looks like it. So, we're gonna go back out and go down the middle. Oh, there's sulfur right there. What is this thing? Is this charcoal? <gasps> it is. You know, I didn't even know you could get charcoal. I have no idea what sulfur is for. I'm assuming it's to create weapons. I know coal is for uh, ammunition. So maybe sulfur and coal and charcoal are for ammunition. I have not unlocked any personal weapons. I've unlocked a weapon accessories for my pals. So I'm assuming that's, you know, coming up pretty soon, I'll be able to make um, weapons. I know right now I have a crossbow unlocked, which now that I think about it, I don't know why I didn't make a crossbow, <laughs> but I guess I'll do, oh, no, I'm, ah, uh, darn. I'm encumbered now. So what I'm gonna do, darn. You know, there is a, uh, okay, let's take that to half, take that to half, put it there. Oh, I'm still encumbered. No, I'm good. Okay, I want to take some sulfur. So I'm going to get it to just below 400 pounds, probably like 398. Oh, okay, too much. Um, Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Where the heck is the sulfur? Did I not pick up sulfur? Was that just more coal? It said sulfur, did it not? Oh, it's giving me ore. I thought that was sulfur. Okay, so I think what I'll do is maybe take 10 of these and drop them. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just dropped 10 and then picked up 10. Nobody saw that. Drop five. There we go. Let's get out of here. I can't pick up anything else while I'm in here, but I'm, I think I'm okay. I won't pick up any more paldium, coal, sulfur, or nothing like that. All right, so we went to the left, we went to the right, now we go down the center, and that's where the boss will be. 
Uh, please remind me when I get home to make a crossbow. And by please remind me, I was talking to myself. Question mark? Exclamation point? Period? Hey, you! Come fight me, bro. Ah, you missed. Oh man, you guys suck. Good job, life. Is it Life Monk? L I F Monk? I keep saying life, but I don't think it is Life Monk. Ooh, who are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting a fuddler. I'm on the side of the fuddler, but I'm gonna also kill the fuddlers. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy. Damn, they killed those syndicate thugs quickly, huh? Oh! That's my face, dude! Oh. Nobody saw that last arrow for no reason. Did they have any... They didn't have any drops on them. What in the world? I like the green mushrooms. I wish I could take them with me. These mushrooms are so cute. What if you could decorate your base to have glowy mushrooms? That'd be cool. Always look around in the corners to see if there's chests and stuff. I know at the end of the first dungeon, I got two chests. That was cool. Um, let me eat and heal everybody up. Do, 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 do. Um, um, I don't know where that came from. Let's do this. Hello? I thought this was where they were- Oh look, there's sulfur. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my coal for sulfur. I don't want another Mao. Huh? Where's the exit? Ooh, a chest. See? You gotta look everywhere. I got some gold and some bread and a small pile of soul. I finally figured out how to use souls. You can go to your statue effigy thing and use the souls to enhance your pals. Where do I go? I came in through that way. So it stands to reason that you have to go this way, right? What in the world? How do I get out of here? Maybe this is a dead end too? Question mark? Exclamation point? Is it up here? Um, hi Daydream, what are you doing up here? Oh, climb please. Okay, so it's... I'm lost in a dungeon. All there was in here was a Mao? Did I go the wrong way? I am so confused. We went left, we went right. Why is there a Daydream in here? Where am I? Okay, I guess this is the right way. Hi, I'm sorry I have to kill you. You're super adorable. Goodbye. Ooh, a venom gland. Listen, I don't know where I'm going, but... Ooh, my Malpaca learned sandblast. Man, my pals are making quick work of these creatures. Ooh, Daydream learned Shadow Blast. Oh, I'm encumbered. Um, let's take what's heavy, heavy, heavy. It's the coal. So I'm gonna take five off. Drop it, there we go. Um, hmm. This looks like it leads to the boss fight. Wait, what? There's two areas? Is this where I came from? This looks like where I came from. <gasps> I had to go to the... Wait a second. What? Yeah, that's where I came from. I guess I gotta go this way? To the boss fight? Whoa. Yep, this is the boss fight. I see the big tree. Oh, it's a big gummas! I love gummoses! Let's go ahead and kill the little ones first. 
Because they can be kind of a nuisance. Okay, one down, two down. Soon. Oh boy, I gotta run out of the way. Sweetheart, I'm, I'm in the middle of something, baby. I'm sorry, my love. Oh, look at that. They're beating that Gamasa's butt. Holy crap. That was so fast. What is that? Oh, an ancient civilization part. Yay. They look like spark plugs. Was that it? Learn power shot. Learn aqua gun. Nice. That was... Okay, I didn't think that we would beat that so fast. Good job. Um... My pals, Woof Monk and Daydream. I love Daydream. If you don't have a Daydream in your party, what are you doing with your life? I got some rubies, a life pendant, a high grade technical manual. Whoa, dungeons are so worth it, my dude. Uh, ooh, is that a Tombat? Let's get it. Level 12. Let's get it. I'm gonna switch to these guys. I should be able to catch it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Don't jump out. Yes! Tom back collected. Oh look, another one. Should we get the other one too? Why not, right? More Tom bats. I don't really know what they do, but I don't think there's like a huge limit to how many pals you can have. Oh, there's a night, uh, a wing, wing thing over there. Ow! He hit me post capture. Sweet. Moving on. Oh man, I'm at 400.4. Wait. Hey, you night wing. Wake up. Oh boy. Oh, he's coming down. Good. Ow, don't smack me in the face. Oh god. They killed him! They killed him! <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Daydream, why? Why must you kill everything? Ugh. Alright, I'm encumbered, so I'm gonna drop something. What? I guess I can drop you. That's three pounds. That makes me light enough to run. We're gonna go back to the teleporter and head back to base. And yeah, so that has been um, my video on <laughs> on Pal World for you guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out the game with me. Um, this is technically a let's play slash review. And I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my progress on Pal World and also um, go over what I love about the game, what I think the game lacks. Optimization is definitely one of them. Um, I will say for an early access game, I've had much more trouble with AAA titles in early access um, than I did with this game. So good on you, Pal Worlds. Um, the game is so much fun. Uh, some people complain that there's too much to do in this game. My ADHD brain is buzzing with the fact that there is never ending projects that I can work on. Um, and there's constant rewards and pat on your backs in the game. Um, it makes me super duper happy and I'm so glad I picked up this game. Not once, but twice. And I'm so grateful to G Portal for sponsoring this channel and all of my work with uh, servers for me to play my favorite games on. If you like the video, please comment down below. Let me know if you're getting Pal World or if you've gotten Pal World. And I'd love to know what is the highest level creature you've caught so far and where. Comment that down below so that I can go find it too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you're valid, you're loved, you're incredible, you got a fat ass, and you deserve all the pizza in the world. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!